up, YouTube? I feel like we had a bit of a moment on Monday. Just a little. I mean, I should have just whipped out my boobs and made it a little more awkward for you because that's how it felt on this end of this whole setup. Since you've already passed go and collected your $200, why don't we get to know each other a little bit? What do you say? Random facts? All right. It's random facts time! I'm a sinner, I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. I'm your hell. I'm your dream. I'm not that in between. You know you wouldn't want it any other way. I feel like we should start our date off saying that I can't sing. That's my first random fact for you. I can't sing. And my toddler will even put his hand over my mouth and say, Mommy, no sing. Mommy, don't sing. Mommy, stop singing. It's that bad, you guys. So, so bad. Fact number two. This right here is a cesspool for inappropriate behavior. I am fully responsible for Michael walking around saying, fucking cats. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Because that is exactly what his mom walks around saying, fucking cats. Fuck. Which might be part of the reason Michael, big one, not little one, didn't think I was something that you could take home to mom and show off. It was either that or the fact that I was slinging dildos at the time. Not quite sure. Fact number three, I don't read books. Not ever. I used to. I used to read V.C. Andrews all the time, actually. All of her books are downstairs. I no longer read because my attention span went from I have all this time in the world to just sit and read to I actually have to work. It's called being an adult. Oh, I'm sure adults out there read. Not saying that they don't, but uh, I'd rather just watch YouTube videos and play Dark Age Camelot. That's what cool adults do. Fact number four. That's eight, but four. I love pizza. I get the za every single Tuesday. It's like clockwork, death and taxes. Oh my goodness, pizza. It's delicious. Doesn't matter what it is, but it better have bacon on it because I love bacon. I'm giving you too many facts. And this is turning into one of those dates that just will not end. One of those really, really bad first dates that everybody talks about and not in a good way. Your fifth and final fact for this date is that I am obsessive. Yes, yes I am. I, I am extremely obsessive and I can give you an example that you should be able to relate to because everybody should do this. I like to organize my closet in such a way that my tank tops and then my short sleeves and then my three quarter sleeves and then, you know, moving on. Everything has its place. Michael doesn't understand that. And what tops that one, what tops it, and I, oh yeah, just thinking about this makes my skin crawl. If you leave empty hangers in the closet, Oh my word, don't do it, take them out. Who leaves empty hangers in a closet? <sighs> okay, cool, got that out of my system. How was that for a first date, cool, huh? Feel like you know me, huh, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> but I feel like I don't have pants on. That is another random fact that makes people feel uncomfortable during their first date. You should always wear pants to your first date. Just throwing that out there. So yeah, um, are you gonna like call me in three days? Or is this going to be one of those things where if I don't get a phone call? <laughs> call me? Maybe? Let me know if you think any of these topics should be elaborated on in future videos or if they should just go in the vault and never talk about them again. Was it a good first date? Do you want a second date? You know, on second date you get kisses. Do you want kisses? Maybe? Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!